Hey everyone, Atomic Vampire here, and I'm just blasting this guy to bits right here. I hope you guys can see the video better. Um, I upgraded to iPad recording. Well, yeah, I guess you can call it iPad recording. And I think it looks a lot better, like a lot sharper, and just a lot nicer. The dropships are onto you! I, I can't do an Australian accent. Um, so, what I hate about this level is basically there's just tons of stuff just shooting at you and you have to destroy everything. And it's kind of annoying. It's like you have infinite ammo. It's not realistic, but that's the fun part about this game. And I'm just blasting this guy. They really don't stand a chance, really. Well, actually, they kind of do. Look at that health. It took me like 50 missiles just to get him down a half bar. It's not dead yet. Okay. Look at that cloud. That's a huge cloud. I don't see any, like... Separation. Oh crap. What are those random like flares of smoke just like popping up everywhere? I don't get it. You have to have really good accuracy in, in this level or you won't pass it. And basically in this level I think you can just kill these big robots and it finally cuts the cutscene. That's nice. So I'm just gonna kill this guy. So hopefully for later, like future videos, I can use this iPad to record, cause it looks a lot better. Demon fluffies. Alright, so, who the hell is Shaz? What kind of a name is Shaz? I don't know, but whatever. This pink little spider thingy. Holy crap, it's all that war here. Get back in the sewers. Actually, there's a level in this game where you get to go in the sewers and you kill crocodiles. It's pretty. I mean, it's pretty fun. And I was checking out the menus, and there's actually a racing game type in this game, so I found out that these lizards are called frill lizards, which I kind of should have done that way. Ooh, she threw a crowbar at me. Holy crap. Ooh. Anyways. Is she randomly... What? We've got the hawk. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, crap. Enjoy your meal. Okay, but I'm just like one little tiger. Like, 
don't know how that's really gonna be a meal. Probably like a side. Definitely not a whole meal. I'm just saying. And these guys are on like the roid ragers right here. Look at this. Jesus. And this girl is mad because uh, I'm sexy. Because, you know, tigers are pretty phenomenal, and she's just jealous. Little rat boy, little rat boy. I don't even know what she is, really. What is she? Is she, like, a tiger, too? Yeah, I think she is. So this is a pretty easy fight. Why would you do that? Why? Uh oh, uh oh. Toodles tie. Really? Well, that sucks. What happened? Let's go to one. You did the best you could, Possum. Yeah. Possum? Yeah, Mike. Well, I would have been dead, mate. I could have done better. Next time, I'll be ready. Okay, so that was the intro to the game, basically. Sort of like the little tutorial. And it is with great pride that I cut this ribbon and officially declare it open for a Monty Bush rescue. It's a state of the art facility with an observation tower, research lab, airstrip, and advanced headquarters. What's he doing with his fingers? Dennis, you won't regret this. With Bush Rescue, we're ready to take on Boss Cass the next time it strikes. Well, it's not going to be that easy, I'm afraid. Why not? I just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have diplomatic immunity. You mean it's an immunity community? That stinker. Diplomatic. As the newly elected president of Cassopolis, Boss Cass, and his diplomats are above the law as long as they're here on official Cassopolis business. They can double pass, open other people's money, and leave the milk out. And Sergeant Blue, he can't touch him. Which is why it's important for us to find out what his plans are and catch him in the act. And catch him in the act. There's no time to stand around gas bagging. We've got work to do. The local council have been complaining about crocodiles in the sewers, mate. Go see Ranger Ken to sort it out. Okay, so this is the um, HQ here. Um, okay, so this is pretty much like a little menu and I'm gonna go head to town actually and do the sewers quest and how you can ride on ropes I don't even know cause that would really hurt your freaking feet there's like tons of opals in this little hallway and this thing just squirts out opals like it's nothing Imagine real life was like that. Money squirting out of fire hydrants. Buy new rings. Boomerangs. 
What's funny is, if you go to the boomerang shop, they're actually your parents in the game. So it's kind of funny how they want you... How they won't give you the boomerangs for free. It's pretty retarded. I'm playing on the slide here. Because I'm, I'm a boss. And this peacock here is just like... Talking to koalas. Why? I have no idea. As you know, I'm running from this bar of magic again this year. I won last year, so here's the two in a row. Two in a row? How old, Ty? Okay. Good day, young Ty. Good day, young Ty. So let's see. That's a croc. Okay, so I gotta go to the green star. What the hell? Um. Okay. What the hell? Oh, okay, so. I'm gonna end it here, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed. And, like I said, like if you liked the video and dislike if you didn't like. Because, well, I want your guys' opinions, and see you guys later.